Kesha, do you know where does the life come from? Right here, my friend. I say everything appears at once. You and me, the city you see, garden trees, your dog, and me and this fly. Bang! And everything is here. Everything at all. Only that fly was not an ordinary one. It was a tiny time machine. It took Kesha 14 billion years back in time to the very beginning of the universe. Whoa! What is happening to me? At first, the whole universe was a very tiny hot dot. Then, for some reason, it exploded and started to expand with tremendous speed. That is how particles and atoms appeared. Then, almost a billion years later, the first stars were formed. And eight billion years later, our sun was born with the planets rolling around it. At first, our planet Earth was not a suitable for life at all. It was candid and attacked by meteorites. And volcanoes erupted everywhere. But when the Earth cooled down, the oceans covered all of its surface. Well, almost three and a half billion years ago, under the strikes of lightning and solar radiation, the molecules in the ocean were becoming more and more complex. Then, some of them learned to reproduce themselves and hide in tiny bubbles. Hooray! We're alive! Those were the first living creatures, the protocells. And those merry protocells inhabited the whole planet. As time passed, only the sliced and the craftiest could survive. So, after a billion years passed, such a sly bacteria, cyanobacteria, learned to convert the solar light into oxygen and energy. And cyanobacteria were so good at this that all together they created the oxygen atmosphere for the Earth. Once cyanobacteria, aerobic bacteria that fed on oxygen, and a simple chemotrophic bacteria played hide and seek. Wow! A nice hiding place! Climb in! Whoa! Have you seen the bacteria's hand? Nope! Uh, we appreciate but you didn't give us away. Thank you for this. We will stay inside and help you produce energy. This is how complex eukaryotic cells came into existence. At the beginning, cells lived separately, but then they decided to stay together. I'm a sponge! I'm one of the first multicellular organisms! I can grow giant and absorb food from water! Then animals became even more complex. I'm charming, I'm a loop like a plant, but don't be fooled, I am an animal. I'm Kimbrella, I grow on the bottom of our ocean and munch on tasty bacteria. I'm Spagina, I can grow huge, but I'm too lazy, so I won't. Then all of a sudden the earth was crowded by many different kinds of animals. I got the robot! Uh -huh. Ouch! Stop running! I am an Amalakaris, the sea monster, a crab trilobite. So trilobites started to grow thorns and managed to inhabit the whole world. I'm Pikaya, the ancestor of all the vertebrata, and even yours, Kesha boy. Pikaya's relatives developed into fish, then into amphibia, and then into well known dinosaurs. Some reason. At last, after all these three and a half billion years of evolution on Earth and two million years before Kesha and Vasa were born, the first humans came to life. The first world of man hunt is silent. Mm hmm. What? Oh, we missed it again. 
Kesha, are you okay? Vati, I don't believe it. I traveled to the past. I saw how the universe was born. I saw how the sun and the earth formed and watched the life appear on our planet. It was not at once. It took billions of years. I'm going to become a scientist and study all of this. Hi, have you recognized me? I'm Kesha. I grew up and became a scientist. I made this time machine to go to the past and study how the life on the earth appeared. And that was me in a time machine who flew into my own mouth as an eight-year-old boy to show myself how interesting studying the world could be.